Hello, farmers. The birth should be today. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Right, now I need to make sure I get the name right, otherwise I'm going to be... Uh, going to be regretting it. Uh, ba -ba. The egg hatched. The chick needs a name. It does need a name. The question is, what name, how do you spell it properly? Okay, so... I'm not going to name this after an animal adoption. I'm going to name this after its owner. Or future owner. I just need to make sure I get the spelling right. Because I don't want to get it wrong. Otherwise I'll have to do it all again, like I just said. Um, although it's proving hard to find the right names. I think it's P-O-P-U-R-I. But obviously it, says it comes up with Potpourri. Which is uh, something completely different. Here we go. P-O-P-U-R-I. I was right then. So pop your re there we go that's right it is so name this is this name okay good and then tomorrow my family has gotten larger time to work even harder now tomorrow that should result in an event but we will have to wait and see and see what happens obviously it's just a guess it might happen it should happen but i'm hoping it will because it's supposed to anyway let's check out the tv shall we let's see what's going on oh it's supposed to be snowy today isn't it Sure, it was supposed to. Oh, the delicious hour! I like the delicious hour. Here's tomorrow's weather forecast. Expect a comfortable, balmy winter day. Is it going to be the same as usual? This month's events are not the same as usual. Okay, and this one. Life on the farm. Farm a friend. Farm a friend. Yes, Jimmy. Remember what we were talking about yesterday? About the hot house, right? Well, you can build a hot house. Then you can also cook in your kitchen, right? You need lots of different ingredients to cook. So a hot house is useful because you can grow seasonal crops at any time of the year. Yes, but I'll tell you more tomorrow. Now it's time for the delicious hour. If it's Tuesday, then it's time for the delicious hour. In this cooking program, I, your host, Naru, introduce a new dish every week. Today's dish is roasted potatoes. Ingredients, sweet potato, stone, utensils, oven. You can also add sugar and salt to taste if you like. Ton, 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 ding, finished. Let's give it a taste. Much, 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 much. Mm, delicious. See you next week. Bye, Naru. He's amazing. I wish I could be like Naru. Sometimes I really might have to put my fan on. I hope you guys don't mind. Oh, is it six o'clock? Oh, we didn't sleep in. Fantastic. Fantastic news, Tom. Right, I could check, actually. When I get a chance, I'll check to see if I, if I can hear my fan on the older microphone. I think I can, so I don't really want to turn it on. It's quite a loud one. But it's really hot. Like, I'm melting sort of hot. Anyway, let's get... Ready for the day ahead, then. Okie dokie. So, Farmer's Journal, begin. It is the 4th of Tuesday. It is 6 o'clock in the morning. If you wanted to know the weather outside, it should be snowy. Doesn't sound like it is, but it should be snowy. And uh, it's year one. Okay, so today we're going to go and purchase a bell, which we could use for the cows, but we'll have a look at that and see how well that works out. Uh, just to guess, I don't think it works very well, so we'll have to see exactly how that turns out. But I think that's it. So can we go, then? I think we can go. Outside we go. And why am I looking on the computer for something? I feel like I should be doing something. <gasps> Good morning, Captain Cluck. Hey, the rolling pin you ordered came. I forgot about this. I've delivered it. Fantastic. Thank you, Zach. I'm going to go look at that then. I'm guessing it's going to be just the same as like the whisk, where it's going to just be placed on the side, which... Not very happy. I remember what I was going to look at the computer. See how many days I've got left this week. Three. So it should be three days today, hopefully. Should be, assuming everything goes according to plan. And there's the rolling pin. Yeah. Looks alright, I suppose. Could be better, but it's, it's not. We have to deal with what we've got. Right, let's go continue with the rest of the day then. See if we can get three days done. <laughs> Doubtful. Right, now because it's a snowy day today, we get some events. Which we'll have to go and start off, but we should... Should work out. Right, have we got any large cows today? Any more large cows? Oh, I think we have. I think. Well, that's Nesquik. The chocolate milk. <gasps> oh, look at this. That's a uh, meatloaf. Okay, who would do anything for love. This must be... Um, you are... Must be Minotaur. Is Minotaur big? And this must be Sir Shank. Look at that. i got. I got to check this now. Sir Shank, I got it right. Let's press you. Right, who is next? This one should be... Da -da -da, meatloaf, which I think that's obvious. We knew that anyway. Oh, no, that's Meatloaf. Wait, what did I say? I can't remember what I said. 
And that's Nesquik. You look happy today. So who's this one then? Minotaur. Minotaur. Yeah, I got it right. I did. Yay! All right, 14 days left, Sir Loin. Do that in around 14 more days. Yeah. It does say around, so does that mean it might not be? <laughs> no, could be tomorrow. There, there, Daffodil. You look rather dapper today. The dapper Daffodil. And there's old Dr. Lily, sort of taking care of uh, Sir Loin at the moment. There, there, Sir Kay. You look happy today. Did I do this one? Nope, never mind. I thought that was a small cow, but it wasn't. And there, there, Ezio. You look happy today as well. Uh, is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Right, ah dear, yes. I need to go and get rid of my stuffs. Ah! Right, excuse me, cows. Oh, if only we had some sort of device to move the cows out of the way. If only. Right, I need to make sure I cross off four fish on my list. Otherwise, I'll be. Otherwise. Oh, hold on. I'll forget. Right, okay, let's go over there now and do it now. So, I've got 18 fish. Oh, is that all of them then? Right, just check it on the floor. I can't be able to. Chop them down later. Right, so that's 18 fish. Am I supposed to get 18 fish this month or 19 fish this month? Let's go and get some fodder. Let's go over to this side and get it. So we've got to get mobbed by cows. Um, 18 fish, yes, so we've got all the fish for this season then. I think I might put the rest of them in the fishing pond. Because uh, I think it would be cool to have like a 99 full pond of fish to work at Fish Sun and Chips them. You know, their success in local business has uh, meant it me means they can now. Uh, hire some more stuff. Oh, move, sir. Oh, look at all these cows. Stop crowding, please. I need some room. Your feed will be there in a second. Breakfast is up. We have Weetos for sirloin. The rest of you get shreddies. And not the frosted or chocolate ones either. Right, I think I did them all. I hope I fed them all. Did I? I forget. I think I did. I ain't got any feed left. I'm going to assume I did it, because why not? Mm. Hello, Shadow. How are you today? Ah, Shadow. You seem happy today. Perfect, right. Can you do a little run for me, mate, just to make sure you're up to snuff? That's good, you are. All right. Let's go and get some honey, and then we're going to take over chickens. Nearly said fish. In fact, can we put fish in the pond? Isn't it frozen over? By the way, I'm not too happy about this snow feature. Look at it, it's too, it's too slow. Need more snow. Faster. Make it look more wintry. Because look, it's frozen over. I wonder if it works. I'll have to try it out. I'll try it out the next time I get a fish and see if it does work. It should do, in theory. Right, so there's that new chicken. Potpourri. And like I said, when it grows up, we'll sell it back to Potpourri. It'll be like a gift for her. And then we can actually have a proper animal adoption chicken. Which is what we all want. Right, let's get this. And then some more ones. Perfect, I think this is all of them, so I need to keep two for gifts. Oh no, you were hiding one, War Chick. That's okay, I got it. Okay, right, thank you very much, Warrior Chickens. Oh, oh I missed the little chirps. Chirps are cute. That's good. Right, so that's for me. Oh, and I didn't want to pick that up just yet. Oh well, I need to go back in there to get some more anyway, because... I can only carry nine, but I need ten, so I have to get. I have to wait my way back to the feeding pit. Shoot anyway. So that's all right. It's not too bad. It could be worse. Could be worse. Let's put that in there. That one in there. That one in there. And that one in there. Now, like I said, I need to feed them all now because I'm not. I'm still not sure if you have to feed chicks. I'm going with the assumption that you do because why not? It's better to be safe than sorry. And that's the point. Do I need to go to the feed thing at any time soon? That's a chicken egg. Thank God that didn't throw on the floor. Right, let's have a look, shall we? Yeah, I might go today and do that. Yeah, just to get some fish fish food. Chicken feed. But anyway, that's all the chickens done. Cows done. Time to head on off to do some foraging. Okay, so I'm here at Ellen's house. Because we need to talk to her. There's still snow outside, right? It's like that every year in winter. It's too cold for the sun to melt the snow. And one more time. 
People talk in olden times of seeing a snow-white flower blooming on snowy winter days. They call it the flower of happiness. Nobody ever sees the flower these days, but I'd like to see it once before I die. Right, there's a reason for that. The legend of the blue flower. White flower, sorry. Getting my colours mixed up. So we're walking to the square because apparently something's going to happen and it is. It's Cliff, I need to talk to you, mate. Oh dear, what? D don't worry, I know CPR. Come in here. The snow brings back memories. It was snowing the day I left my hometown. Just holding my basket. Don't worry, I will carry you to the, t the hospital. All right, or to the inn. Hello, it certainly is snowing, is it? What? Cliff? Dad, Cliff's got in trouble. He is indeed. He fell over in the snow. Raving about snowing when he left. <laughs> Some sort of madness. Uh, it's a good thing JD found him. He was really lucky. I wonder what he was doing there. Wait, hold on. What are the doctor? Dr. Frankenstein. Or Frank and Tim. And the vampire doing over his body. Is the vampire going to eat him? And then the doctor is going to use his body parts and his monster. I hope not. Thank you very much. He'll be okay. He just needs to rest in bed for a while. Everybody can go home now. <laughs> it's time to do, get to work, Dr. Frank and Tim. Oh dear. Right, sorry about that. We had a problem. Right, apparently because I was holding the basket, it mucked up the event. But after you talk to him after he's passed out, you pick up this photo. Let's have a look, shall we? A photograph, a picture showing Cliff dropped on a snowy day. It appears to be Cliff and some of his family. Right, so what we do now... Obviously, you notice an hour has passed. But now he's in bed. Let's go and talk to him. I'm sorry for troubling you. Anything else? No, it's the same. Now, let's give him his photo. We find out some about his family. <gasps> Where did you find this? Oh, I see. You told Anne about it. The people in this picture are my mother and sister. Your sister looks like Anne, I remember you saying. <clears throat> I didn't like my hometown. And I left my family and moved away. After a while, I went back there, and my mom had died, and my sister had moved somewhere else. This village reminds me of my hometown. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't want to hear my story. Thanks for the picture. <sighs> He's a little bit, uh, a bit morbid, that. His mother died. You know, his sister moved away. He definitely is some guy from Street Fighter. Anyway, I'm going to go see if my basket is still where I left it. So we've come to the summit of Mother's Hill to see if we can't find some sort of legendary flower. Ah, <gasps> It's the legendary happy flower. It's white and beautiful. A white flower that only blooms on snowy days. Was it the flower of happiness? It was the legendary happy flower. It was indeed. And it's a a day and I had an egg for breakfast. <gasps> I haven't had one since breakfast. And now it's 6 a.m. Anyway, TV time, let's do this. Oh, the shong hour. Here's to Mother's weather forecast. Expect a comfortable Barbie winter day. Uh, no, we've had that before. Next one. Life on the farm. For my friend, for my friend. Yes, Jimmy. Remember what we were talking about yesterday? About the hothouse, right? Let me give you a portfolio. Profitable tip. If you use the hothouse to grow crops like tomatoes that produce multiple harvests, then once you plant the seeds, you can continue to harvest them from the seeds plants until the hothouse is destroyed. Oh yeah, because plants grow in all seasons inside the hothouse. I can see how that might be profitable. My next one. Another week has passed and it is time comes again for the song hour. Today's guest is Item. Let's hear the song. Lumber. Buy Lumber from the Woodcutter. For 50g a piece. Or use the axe to split branches and stumps on the farm and in the mountain. You need an axe that has been promoted to level 2 or higher to split stumps. The lumber is automatically put in the woodshed. Press the X button in front of the woodshed to take a lumber out. Do the same to put lumber you are holding back in the woodshed. Stick pieces of lumber into the ground to make a fence. If you build an enclosure, animals will be safe from stray dogs or burn the lumber in your fireplace, only in winter. Clap, clap, clap. Oh wait, that's finished. <laughs> now we know how to use lumber, thank you very much. For that non-essential rubbish song, as per usual. Right, come here you. Come Tom. 
We have things to do. Right, I shall get your ball out. And uh, yeah, right. Sorry about today. It's been a bit of a, a bit of a mad thing. Like I forgot. I see. I didn't mention. <laughs> I may have forgot to uh, buoy the bell yesterday because uh, I got there at four o'clock and it shuts at four. So I we'll get it today. It's all right. It's not too much of a problem. We can still work around it. Uh, and yes, I did, couldn't find Jeff yesterday either. So uh, I still got his fruit juice from yesterday. But anyway, let's prepare myself for the day ahead. Oh, went past it. Where are you? There you are, what I need. Right, okay, so... Farmer's Journal. Begin. It is the 5th of winter. It is Wednesday. It is 6 o'clock in the morning, if you wanted to know, and the weather outside is fine. I think. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, but today we're going to go and purchase the bell, which you didn't get yesterday, so we'll get that sorted. And uh, we'll also pick up the jewellery from the uh, blacksmiths today, which we ordered a few days ago. Right, let's go and do this then. Same as usual. Alright, hopefully we'll do some fishing tonight as well. Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. It's a potpourri event. Hello. Hello. I figured it was about time that egg I gave you hatched. It's a good job I didn't eat it. <laughs> it hatched. Great. Did you give it a name? You named it potpourri. Hehe. <laughs> Thanks. See you. That's all right. When it grows up, I'm going to sell it to you. Then you can keep it forever. And remember me. Because you know that my heart belongs to another. Not, not to you, Popery. I know we haven't seen her in a while, but my heart still belongs to Ellie. As always. Loyal to the very end. I am nothing if not loyal. Get some milk. Thank you. <gasps> Is that another cow, or is that just a cow that's been moved onto the other side? I think it's a cow that's just been moved onto the other side. Yeah, I'm sure of it. Right, okay, get some more. Good. Right, let's go and put this in my little bag. Portable bag. Good, right, now let's swap up. Right, 13 more days? Or 14? It's... 13. Ah, oh, so close. Sort of. Not really, actually, now I think about it. Right. There's Nesquik with his chocolate milk. Oh dear, Dr. Liddy, take care of our pregnant cow. Like a midwife at the moment. Is it you? Oh god, look at all the cows. There's too many of them. Let's hope cows don't take over the world. Interesting fact. Cows... Because they've been so heavily, uh, what's the word? You know, animal husbandry sort of thing. Because they've sort of been heavily, f I don't know what the word is, um, farmed, if that makes sense. Like they've been grown to be farmed and stuff like to be herded and stuff like that. They're the only animal where farmers can use a helicopter to herd them because they're so, you know, domesticated, that's the word. Uh, they're, the, they're the only animals they can do that with where they won't die from heart attacks and stuff because we have domesticated them so much it's a nice little fun fact for the day about cows you remember that cow, that chicken one where there are more chickens on earth than there are of humans let's hope the warrior chickens don't start a war with us because we will not survive well, maybe we will Perhaps that's World War Three, us against chickens. <laughs> that's just silly, I think. Right. Yeah, so make sure we get that bell today. Sorry I forgot about it yesterday, but by the time I got there, it was four o'clock. And I obviously had to reload the day so I could sort out that event, which I mucked up. Right, hello, Shadow. Ah, Shadow. You've seen Baby today. Ten hearts yet? No, so close. <gasps> just hurry up and love me more. I just want you to love me. Unconditionally. Is that too much to ask? Of course it is. Because you are a horse. You do not know the meaning of the word love. Then you are shadow. You are a very special horse. So maybe you do. I'm not sure. Okay. So what do I need to do? Keep two eggs. I don't need to make any fruit juice. Because uh, I have some ready-made in the fridge for uh, 
for Jeff. So, my little warrior chickens, how are you all today? I didn't hear you this morning. Potpourri seemed to have mucked up your event. I know. Outrageous it was. But alas, I can't do anything about it now. It's ended. Just gotta wait for this potpourri to grow up and then we'll sell her. Because she does not belong here. She's not an animal adopted name. We have people that want names. I don't know how long it takes, isn't it? Two days, maybe? No, three days. Five days, perhaps. Seven? A season. I'm gonna say a few days. Five, I think. But I'm not sure. I will have to go and forage, and I will debate that matter with myself after I empty it, because if I forget, I'll have to come all the way back. Oh, very well. Right, off to see the blacksmith to collect my order. Hello, Zibara. What have you got for me today? That accessory you requested is finished. Oh. Earrings, made by the blacksmith. Girls will probably like this design. It's not very sex. That's pretty sexist. Anyway, I'm not finished with that yet. There's something I want to do with it. But that'll happen in a few seconds or so. Okay, so before we go and deal with the earrings... Ah! Oh, Ellie! I've missed you, Ellie! Hello! The clinic is closed on Wednesdays. We don't have enough outside the clinic, do we? I've missed you! Please talk to my grandmother. She's bored from staying home all the time. <gasps> I forgot Ellie's here on a Wednesday. <laughs> missed you. Anyway, talk to Ellen. We need to tell her about... She just jumped. <laughs> we need to tell her about the legendary happy flower. Cold today, isn't it? What? You saw a flower of happiness on top of Mother's Hill? Uh, that's too far for me to climb. But thank you, JD. I'm glad you told me about it. I'm sure you'll have a happy life. I hope I have a happy life too. Hey, Ellie. <laughs> Quick, run away before she knows what I meant. Okay, now don't tell Ellie. Because it's a secret. But what, it's her birthday next season. And I'm going to give her these earrings as a gift. Right, so let's wrap them up. I'll do it now so I'm prepared, you know. It's 100G. Yes, I'll do that, Jeff. Thank you very much. Right, thank you, boss man. There we go. So I've got a present. And it tells you what's inside as well. Earrings, see? Good. Right, now let's go and give... <laughs> or bribe Jeff with the <laughs> fruit juice so he won't tell Ellie. It's a secret, you know. Wow, thank you. You're very kind. Oh, I didn't turn off my fan again. <laughs> I'm up to my ears in Beatles. I can't wait until that dialogue changes. Right, anyway, I'm going to go and I'll try to remember to turn my fan off next time. I apologise, but it's very hot. <laughs> right, so I did forget yesterday, but now I have not. I'm here at 12 o'clock, just as the store is opening. I'm going to speak to Barley. Well, if it isn't JD from the Twin Tree Farm, is there something you need? Yes, we're going to buy this bell for 500G. Thank you. Do you want to buy anything else? No, that's it, thank you. Barley? I just want to go check this out and see what it's like. If you need to buy anything else, please stop by again. Right, so where is it? I need to rearrange my tools again. Ah, damn it. Um, that. What's next? I need my axe then. Then I need my hoe. Then I need my watering can. And then that. Like that. And then the bell last. Right, so what does this bell do, you may ask? Well, let's have a little look, shall we? <laughs> Wow. Um, what it does is it's supposed to call cows to you. But that is fantastic. I love this. <laughs> hey, hey, me, me, me. <laughs> oh dear, you should never have let me buy this. You're not even supposed to as well. It's just something like in the guide I'm doing, following. You don't get it, but I want to show you everything. And boy, am I glad I am. Right. I ran quickly to the barn as fast as my little farmer's boots will carry me. Oh, no, that's what they are. That's why I can run so fast. And why I can go back in time with it. And phase through people. It's because I'm wearing running boots. But they're not running boots, like from Pokemon. 
They're farmer's boots. <gasps> That's why I can run so fast. That is it. Anyway, I want to try out my new ring-a-ding-ding, a-dong-dong. -ding, Cows are supposed to come towards me. Oh, 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 it's working, it's working. Nah, it's not very effective. Still, it's flipping fun. Right, on to fishing. <gasps> I got it! Yes! I caught the angler. It's a kingfish. Uh, basically what it is, is you catch it, and like I said on the um, Life on the Farm, you make a print of it, or like a photo, and then you send it back in the water, and there we go, at the bottom of the screen, underneath the, the deaths. The angler. We caught our first kingfish. <gasps> That's good. I mean, to go back home now. That's fantastic. So easy to... Yeah, you can only catch that fish on the pier, or on the beach, uh, between half ten and half five in the morning, I think. Right, so we're doing the night run now, but, uh, yeah, we caught a kingfish. Ah, <gasps> Your Highness. It's sad that you can't put them in a fish pond, but uh, at least we get a little picture with it. I wonder how many kings there are. I'm, I'm not sure how many kings there actually are. But yeah, we've had a legendary flowers and a legendary fish. So it's not too bad. Right. Good night, Tommy, wherever you may be. There he is. Good night, Aureli, at the top of his attic room. And a good night, Lord of the Meadow, who is currently staying with us for the winter in his the Lord's Den underneath the alchemy lab. Anyway. Dear diary. Oh no, I didn't make a diary entry. <gasps> That's really sad. Hopefully nothing will happen. Oh. Of course. <laughs> I was going to say, why did it happen so quickly? It's because I didn't make a diary entry. Duh. Right, okay. Is everything okay though? I'm not anything up I shouldn't have. Even though I haven't saved for like two days. Oh, please don't let there be a blizzard tomorrow. Weather report. Oh no. Oh, you son of a... You son of a bloody rabbit. Oh no. The double save feature is where if you get a, sand, a snowstorm, which we just did, the blizzard, where you reload the previous two days and then you work through the days to reload that day. And I haven't saved for two days because of that stupid flower and the stupid me last night. Which means... I'm going to have to go back all the way. You stupid son of a blizzard. Out of all of our luck, we had to have a blizzard tomorrow. Oh, good lord. Expect a large snowstorm. Secure your doors and windows. Put your animals in the barn. Well, I'm obviously going to have to reload that off camera. We'll just continue with the day. We won't get to go any longer than today anyway. Oh, son of a bugger. Oh, that's annoying. Life on a farm. Farmer friend, farmer friend. Yes, Jimmy. Remember what we were talking about yesterday? About the hothouse, right? Do you still question the usefulness of the hothouse? Yeah, well, the inside of the hothouse is very narrow. Yes, that's true. But it is after just a 7x7. Seven seven. Yeah, so you can't plant very much seeds in a hothouse. That means you should only grow crops that you really need. Well, then I don't know if that's very useful at all. Oh, Star One Sports. We report today on the new match between the wrestling tournament of the fourth match of round one, Mirar Maria vs. Vanilla. Maria nervously, mysteriously failed to appear, so Vanilla won by default. Today was the end of the first round of the tournament. The four survivors are Ramia, Noel, Sally and Vanilla. The second round of the tournament will begin next week. Oh, victory by default. Right, where's Tommy? Where is Tommy? Oh, did I see him? Where is he? Um, my dog has disappeared. Where the hell did you go? Crazy son of a doggy. I can't believe my luck. Yeah, so all I'll do is I'll just reload from the last save until I don't get a blizzard. Ugh. Right, let's put my present. Oh, you... T I can't put my present in the... Why can't I put my present in the carbonate? Oh, that sucks. Alright, I'm going to have to give that to Ellie today then. Oh, damn it. That mucked up my entire plans. Uh, mm, Tommy, don't 
Why is everything going wrong today? I don't want to cook. It's such a sad day. Do not cook. I do not feel very cooky today. I need a personal chef. If only I had one. Come here, please. Thank you. Today is not a good day. <sighs> so what am I going to do about this poxy present? Can I put it in the freezer? Fridge? It's a bit of a long shot. <gasps> Can I put it in a tool box? No, I can't put it in a tool box. It's in my rucksack. <laughs> let's just try. Let's just try. I, don't, I know it won't work, but let's just try. Of course I can't. Ugh. 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 I give up, I really do. <laughs> Farmer's Journal. Oh wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. Wait a second indeed. Farmer's Journal. Begin! <laughs> I love it. It is the 6th of winter. It is Thursday. It's 6 o'clock in the morning. She wants to know the right side is nice for a winter day. And it's year one. Right, so today, what we're going to do is we're going to try and find another kingfish in the winter mine. Ooh. It's going to be a clash of kings. A clash of fish kings. Play on Game of Thrones there. Which is actually quite good, considering it was linked to the other title this week. Winter is coming. Yeah. Right, let's go and face the day with a frown on our face. Yeah. So angry. Yeah, so angry, Cluckles. So angry. So what am I going to do? Should I try and keep it until until spring? That's a long time. Oh, we've got a new big cow. No, we haven't. My mistake. There, there, Ezio. You look happy today. Is that Ezio? What? What is going on? Ezio is a big cow. Okay, that happened. <laughs> Ezio is a cow. <laughs> That's the wrong cow. Give me your milk, sirs. Madams, I mean madams. So, yeah, so what should I do? Should I give... I don't want to do is give Ellie her present now or keep it until it is time. That seems like it might be difficult. Why is I not getting milk from this last cow? Uh oh, why is it not happening? <laughs> Silly cows. Have I done them all? No, there we go. I've got the last one. Well, that kind of answered my question about what I'm going to do with the present. <gasps> Wait a second. Brainwave. <gasps> I think the last day I saved was the fourth. <gasps> Which means... I can save the jewellery. <gasps> the universe, it has a plan for me. I may have thought the universe was laughing at me today, but really, it was all making sense in the end. Twelve more days. I can't believe it. The universe has a cruel sense of humour. The trick is learning how to take a joke. I can't believe it. Yes, it works out. So I'm going to have to reload anyway because of the blizzard. But then that means I get to save my jewellery, because I just won't wrap it and I can put it in the cabinet. Fantastic! Everybody's happy! See? Sir Kay looks happy today. Everyone's happy! Absolutely amazing! Now if this music wasn't so depressing, I'd actually be very, very, very happy right now. Like these cows are. But because this music is depressing, I'm not. But I'm quite happier than what I was before I left the house. So, I think everyone He's going to have a good day today. Especially Daffodil. And whoever this is. Minotaur, probably. 
Nesquik. Ah. Let's all have a, a glass of chocolate milk to be happy. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, I love the universe. Sometimes. Sometimes I hate it. Sometimes I love it. It's a love-hate relationship. I just broke it. God damn it. Let's try that again. I love the universe. And the universe loves me. That's right. I said it right now. I'm definitely not going to jinx it. Oh god, don't say anything. I'm going to jinx it. Excuse me, sir. Can you move your bottom? Are you a big cow? Can I... Are you a big cow or are you a small cow? I can't tell from this angle. You are most definitely a big cow? Does that mean I can... I can... Milk you for all you've got? No, I can't. Okay. Okay. Right. Well. Swiftly moving on. Sort of swiftly. Semi-swiftly. Go and see Shadow. With my little farmer's boots. Allow me to run fast. Travel back in time. They are the farmer's boots. Ah, Shadow, you seem happy today. You do. You seem very happy today. I've got some feed left. Why have I got some feed left? <gasps> I forgot to give it to Saloin. I forgot to feed a pregnant little cow. That's quite bad. I should not put that on my CV. Forgetting to feed pregnant cows. Don't want the RSPCA to come and call me. There we go. Sorted. <laughs> now we can move on. Oh dear. What a nightmare. I don't, I'm going to break my wall now, aren't I? No, I'm not. Good. <laughs> it's so painful. What's this say? Nothing has come, because no one likes me. Right, it's going to get my frozen bee squad fuel. Right, it's time to go into the chicken coop. And now we'll keep the chicken coop in. I was going to say we might cut it out, but nah. Yeah, we'll keep it. We'll keep it. Right, let's dump that egg. Dump that one. And two. <laughs> oh, chickens, what a nightmare it's been. Can't believe that, but still, I guess it's alright. Works out in the end. I hope. It'd better work out in the end anyway. Oh, by the way, I did get some more feed. There we go. Might need to get some more cow feed soon as well. Ugh. Why can't these things just feed themselves? I mean, it's obvious. I have to do it to just get the feed out of the chute. They see me do it every single day. Well, almost every single day. Sometimes I forget. When I'm feeling quite malicious. And evil. Mwah. Oh, I've gone crazy. It's very late at night right now. Hence why I'm talking very quietly. Yes, quiet. But don't forget to empty my basket, because I will not be best happy if I forget. Right, away we go then. Oh, look at this. Right, so I've just come down to the very, very bottom of the winter mine. You can see there, there's a cave in the wall. I think it's about 10 levels down. Sorry, I've got to turn this off. There we go. Uh, yes, it's about 10 levels down, I think. And look at this, there's a cave. Let's go through the cave and see what's over here. <gasps> it's the lair of the kingfish. Also, I just found this as well. There is a recipe for ketchup written on the board. I can't believe it. It's like a, it's like a recipe. <laughs> Ancient recipe laid down by Captain Tommaso Sauce. Anyway, so let's uh, start fishing. And I'll let you know when I caught this fish king. <gasps> I got it! I got another fish. <gasps> I can't believe it. Oh, that's the wrong page. There we go. I got the catfish. The second kingfish. This definitely is a clash of fish kings. Perfect. I was going to say, it was a lot easier to catch all these fish on my practice run. But alas. Right, so here we go. Then the night time run is begun. Sort of. It's the afternoon. But we've done everything. Don't have to fish. And I have been recording this one episode for two hours, 50 minutes, which is crazy, crazy long. So I'm going to end it here for the day. And like I said, I do need to go reload this day anyway to uh, sort out the blizzard and the present and everything. 
So, make a diary entry and then sleep. We did a diary today and we caught the Fishing Kings because this was the Clash of Fish Kings from Farmer JD. <laughs>